Guys, guys, Moss Christie. Masood, are you the only one here? Where's Steven? I mean, Iman. Always glad you can join us, buddy. All right, so just you two then? Well, Rafiq was supposed to be here, but I heard you got married. And Yusuf and Mustafa flopped like a fish. Right. Like a fish. Okay, we're just gonna move on, right? So just the three of us, the theme this year is clockwork in chaos. Huh? Huh? I didn't come up with it. So, anyone have ideas? I have an idea. Of course you do. I was thinking that we get the opinion of a professional. I think that's actually a really good idea. I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So here's how it goes. I'm going to paint you a picture. Good afternoon, everyone. Today we're here with Professor For What Is Worth, who is going to give us a professional perspective on the Moscow Steam Clockwork in Chaos. Professor Itzworth did his PhD at the Hogwarts School of Hui and Balderdash and specializes in the psychological chaos of space-time. So, Professor, thank you for taking time off from your day to be here with us. I'm glad to be here. All right, so let's get right on to it. First of all, I want to ask you to give us a general overview on your thoughts on this topic. Basically, you see, for what it's worth, the concept of clocks that we have now they're actually representative of figures that are organisms that used to exist millions of years ago. They evolved from the common wristwatch, what we have. Um, and fun fact, actually, the wristwatch, they used to go hunting as they went out, and the female wristwatch would say to the male ones, watch out, because it was dangerous. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and a lot of people don't. But anyway, they evolved into clocks, and clocks evolved into the concept of time itself. That's right. So once they evolved into the concept of time, because time is continuously moving forward, and the state of entropy is increasing in the universe, it means we will all become nothingness one day in this chaotic world, and that's where the chaos and clockwork comes from. Wow, that's very interesting. I think um, we all have learned a lot um, from this little segment here. I personally think that it's a bunch of rubbish, but let's let the audience decide. Huh? That sucks! I thought it was fine. Eh. Wow, okay. Do you have a better idea? I do. And it goes something like this. Did you fix it yet? No, man, this clock works in chaos. How was that? Well, I mean, I, yeah, that's good too. I like that too. Yeah, it was okay. Kind of, sort of, maybe like jelly on toast. You know? Okay, guys, yeah, so I think both of you had some really stellar ideas. But which one do we want to use? Mine. Mine. How about we use both your ideas and put them in one video? We just did. As I sit here in my cute furry body, I realize that life may often feel like a random chain of events, yet a closer look will reveal the unity, order, and harmony that is present. What may seem chaotic on the surface in fact is part of a system, working, without fail, like clockwork.